guys, what's going on? Welcome to Travel Feels. How are you guys doing? I don't know, today's been one of those days where just nothing seems to be going quite right. Everything's a little bit annoying. And what better way to get rid of some of that frustration than a good old fashioned boosted bore ride. On the other hand, I have been super productive. I've gotten just a lot done in these last couple days. I've been actually making a video a day, which feels really good because life has just been so crazy for the last couple months with the baby and the YouTube channel growing, all that, so much business, so many emails, all that stuff. It feels good to just be making films again on a regular basis. So hopefully I get one done today too. But I have been neglecting one thing a little bit and that's the packages I have to open. And usually opening packages is super fun. I've just been so busy that I haven't really gotten a chance to do it yet. So why don't we start off with that? All right, let's do this. All right, so there's some stuff to unbox. Let's get through this. Oh, I wish this lens was wider. I think you guys can see now. So let's start off with some of these smaller packages. Oh, wait, I forgot one thing. Everyone needs a trusty knife to unbox with, and this one's mine. Autofocus, come on. Never seems to work very well on the GH5. All right, first up, we have some mail from Delsol Productions. Felsol, Delsol, I'm not sure. But let's open it up. It's a record. I don't actually have a record player, but that's pretty sweet. Thanks for making such an awesome channel. Your content is so helpful and inspiring. Want to say thanks for helping with my channel. So here is some art. Sweet, thanks. Oh, that's awesome. That's super cool, actually. Thanks so much, man. I can't read what the name is, but. Appreciate it. That's actually the first art I've been sent, which is really sweet. Thanks. All right, now we have a package from, it doesn't say who it's from, but it says Create. I guess Create's the company. And they sent me this shirt and it says Create. All right, let's 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 see what this is. Hey Maddie, loving the content, dude. You're killing it at the moment. I started a brand for creators. And as someone who shares the same values as us, we thought it was only right to send you some, send you some, send you, I don't know what that says. Hope it fits and we'd also love to supply you with some more if you wanted. Keep doing your thing, dude, and I'm sure we will cross paths in the future from James at search create, searchandcreate.com. Check it out. I'm curious what it is. I'm gonna check it out. I don't even know what it is, but thanks. Really appreciate it. All right, then we got this little package. Unboxing is always fun, especially when you have no idea what these packages are. Uh, open that. Yeah. All right, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Ooh, I think I know who it's from. How to be successful. Some socks. Yeah. A cool little sweater, thanks. This is actually from Shopify. I know these guys. These guys are awesome. They're actually who I use to uh, sell all the presets and all that, and I'm actually currently making a store where I'm gonna sell everything all in one place, make it real easy for you guys. So definitely check out Shopify, they're super cool. I'll link them down below. It's basically a platform for you to make an online store, which is really sweet. No paid promotion here, but maybe in the future, who knows? Thanks Shopify. And before I forget, I already opened this actually. I used this sweater in Norway. It's actually super warm, super comfortable, really nice shirt. And the story behind this is that the owner, his name's Chris, he reached out and he thought I might wanna be a part of this brand. Basically his story is that he went to Peru and one thing led to another and all of a sudden he's making clothes. But the cool thing about these sweaters is that they're actually made by these Peruvian ladies. So not only are you getting a really cool product, but you're also helping out some of these families in Peru, which is just amazing. I love companies like that, that are making money, but they're also doing something really good and helping out at the same time. And Chris is actually doing a Kickstarter campaign right now, and he just made an amazing film. So if you want a cool sweater and support some of these Peruvian families, definitely go check out the Kickstarter campaign down below. They're just blowing up. I think their goal was something like 20,000 and they're already at like 200,000. So really Really good product and a good cause at the same time. I love that. Paka, check it out. Thanks Chris for the sweater, it kept me warm in Norway. And another thing that I've already unboxed and I've been using, now this isn't a camera bag, it's actually for babies. It's called Tactical Baby Gear. Basically just everything that you need for diaper changing. This is my life now. So if you do have a baby, check out Tactical Baby Gear. If you don't have a baby, don't get one yet. Nah, I'm just kidding, babies are awesome. Ah. Now let's check out what this box is all about. I hope the focus has been working. Is it working? Sort of. All right, let's keep going. And I'm horrible at opening boxes. It's a new gimbal. 
sweet, called Moza Air. Oh, I think I saw this actually. They were really trying to push this as like a time-lapse gimbal. You can also do time-lapses with this. Basically set up a time-lapse, pointing over there and then over there and it does it. So that's super cool. Maybe I'll do a video about this. If you guys are interested, I'll try to do a video about this. Thanks Moza Air for sending me a gimbal. And now this big guy. Where'd my knife go? Found it. Yeah. I think you guys know what this is already. Kind of obvious. Ugh. So Aperture sent me some more lights, which is pretty sweet of them. They sent me these cool little LED lights. Check one out. Yeah. So it comes in this cool little pouch. There we go. So it's this little tiny LED and it's actually super bright. Pretty sweet. I think I'm gonna try to do some sort of video with these guys. I'm sure there's some cool stuff you can do with these. And they're so tiny, they're so small, but still so bright. They sent me a few of those and they sent me some other lights. And if you guys don't know Aperture, Aperture makes amazing lights. I was using them already before I even started YouTube. And then once I started doing YouTube, I kind of messaged them and they were more than happy to send me some stuff, which is super cool. I love it when companies are just cool like that. They haven't asked a single thing of me. They haven't asked me to make any videos. They just send me some stuff to check out and stuff that I can show you guys and tell you guys if it's good or not. So they actually sent me these smaller lights. You guys know I use the 120Ds all the time. They're a little bit bigger, a little bit brighter, but these are these smaller guys that you can use kind of to accent different things and still use them in pretty cool setups. And I think they sent me, and they sent me three, which is pretty sweet. Maybe I'll do some sort of video with these guys too. Gotta check it out, gotta see what they're like. Let's check how bright they are. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just putting these together. Boom, they can run off this little battery. That's at its lowest level. Man, these things are pretty bright, actually. Do I look good, guys? Should I use some diffusion? Sweet. I'm really excited to test these out. My wife's asking me if I'm almost done. I've kind of taken over the dining room table. She's giving me the evil eye. I should probably go. Check out the mess I made. Stuff everywhere. Well, that's okay. Huge thanks to everybody. Thanks for Aperture for sending all this stuff. Thanks to Moza Air and all these other companies, Shopify, everybody. Really appreciate all the stuff you guys send me. Now I've wanted to do some Q and A's and there's actually been a ton of questions about the app, Placer Cam, that we put out with my brother. And I thought we would ask my brother some of those questions and get some of those answers. So let's do that now. All right guys, so we're here at my favorite spot, the beaches, and here's my brother, say hi. Hi. All right, so we're gonna ask him some questions about the app, some questions that you guys have been asking. Let's figure this out. First off, tell me what you did with the app update. I made the screen recorder work a lot better. So what was wrong with it? Uh, so we were using Replay Kit, which is an Apple thing, and it wasn't quite ready for launch. It's pretty decent, but there were bugs. We might put it back in later, but for now, what we're using is pretty good. And so what was wrong with it? What was wrong? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you hit save, it didn't save at all, which is a real big bummer. We th thought that it would be fixed for iOS 11 launch, but it wasn't ready yet at all. Yeah, it was a super annoying. A few times I set up this huge scene and then you click save and it didn't save the video. So there was some bugs in iOS 11, so we had to get around them. A lot of people have been asking if it's gonna be for Android. Is it gonna come out for Android? It's possible to make it work on Android, but we definitely need more support. Like we just wanna see people wanting it more so it makes sense to develop. Because I'm doing this in my evenings, I have a day job. It's just nice to be able to know that people actually want what you're trying to build. So what are some of the new stuff you've been working on for that? For the app? I've been working on a lot of stuff. I don't know if I should say what I've been working on. I should probably show Mati should first we before we... I haven't even seen the stuff yet, so let's check it out. What? No way. That's sick. We realized we probably actually can't show you guys that stuff yet. We want to keep it a secret and we don't want other people to steal it yet. It's actually pretty sweet. It's gonna make it a lot better. Super excited for the app. So if there's one thing that I've learned through this whole process of making an app, it's a new thing that I've never done actually. I don't even know if my brother's done an app. He does websites and all this other cool stuff. But I've really learned that done is better than perfect. Sometimes when we're doing something creative or whatever, when we're putting it out in the world, we're so just like self-conscious about making it perfect and we don't want to put it out until it's perfect, absolutely perfect. And this app was one of those things where we knew that there were some bugs because of iOS 11, but we still wanted to put it out there because we knew that that's the only way to get the feedback and make the app better. And we, we wanted to get it in your guys' hands so that we could see what you guys would do with the app and then we could make other cool features for it. 
Uh, so really, when you're making videos, when you're making films, when you're making anything, remember that done is better than perfect because if you don't finish it, nobody's gonna see it. And this app would be one of those things that if we were just focusing on making it perfect, it still wouldn't be out and none of you guys would be using it. So if you guys wanna check it out, it's Placer Cam. We have a lot of really cool stuff coming up. Can't wait to tease it for you guys. You guys will see some of that on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram so you can see my stories using the app. Now we're actually gonna go stand up paddle boarding. My brother bought one of these cool blow up stand up paddle boards. I've never been paddle boarding, but it looks super sweet, just relaxing and fun. So let's try it out. That was super fun. I love trying new stuff. And now I've stand up paddle boarded. If you've been using the placer cam and you enjoy it, go and follow my brother on Instagram and Twitter. I'll link him down below. Go send him some love because he gets a lot of the troubleshooting, the bugs and all that. So maybe you guys should go say thanks too for making such a cool app. Anyways, enjoy the filmmaking process and go get some of those travel feels.